Hi, I'm Mark Whiteley, Business Development Director at Xenia Broking. And hi, I'm Owen Bassett, I'm UK Risk Manager with Atreides. Turning to the year ahead, Owen, what is the underwriting strategy of Atreides right now? Okay, so, I mean, Atreides would, would pride ourselves on stability in terms of underwriting strategy, and so there's nothing I need to announce in terms of radical changes or uh, anything that we uh, are looking to particularly um, restructure during, during uh, 2024. Construction does require specific um, kind of guidance to our underwriters in terms of how they underwrite at the minute and I, I, I've, I've talked about how um, the value on up-to-date financial information is massive in there. So they have slightly stronger guidance in terms of the, the information that they can underwrite on at the, at the current time. It needs to be um, within at least the, the last 12 months. Um, but the, the core underwriting strategy of the business remains the same. We identify risk, we try and establish relationships with those risks, and then we manage them on a, on a regular basis, checking back with that buyer from time to time to see whether the expectations they've given us in terms of trading information stacks up. And you mentioned with regards to 2023, construction, supermarkets, took a lot of your efforts. Uh, mm. What are you thinking for 2024 will be the sectors to give you sleep and nights again? Well, the one that is always the challenge in the first quarter of the year, and it's something that we always have to get ourselves uh, very well organised for, is just general retail. We're, we're sat here discussing this in the, right in the middle of the, the golden quarter for retailers at the moment um, and businesses if they are to fail in that trade sector will tend to do it in that first quarter having had a bad Christmas. Um, we will see what happens with uh, Black Friday and how businesses perform uh, through that uh, and then it will be incredibly important to catch up with uh, all of our retail risks in January, February to see how they've traded through because um, you then go into a period of time when those retail businesses aren't, they don't typically make money um, and um, it's not necessarily losses that will bring that business down but if cash flow becomes an issue then those businesses uh, could potentially become con a concern. I think though in terms of comparing 23 and 24, construction is still likely to be our number one area of um, strife where we, where we have to put in the, the, the greatest amount of legwork to make sure that we're um, able to give the, the appropriate level of risk appetite. Where do you see premium rates going in 2024? So the first thing to say, Mark, is premium rates are very much for us uh, an individual negotiation at policy renewals and, and, and policy breaks. Um, and it's very much judged on our experience with that individual client. I think I would anticipate some hardening of premium rates because the general insolvency picture everywhere in all trade sectors is looking a little less rosy than it was potentially 12 months ago. Um, but we don't go down the route of sector-led or um, just UK market-led um, premium rates. Um, of course, the, the, the other uh, factor which, which you'd be able to give some feedback on is, is it's, it's led by the market as well. Often it's uh, a competitive decision um, and it'd be interesting to see what, what, what you've been seeing out there.